Hi everyone, it's Jade Princess, um, or Jade. I wanted to put this game on YouTube today. I wanted to do kind of a no commentary playthrough of Chinatown Detective Agency, just to give the game its space to breathe. It's, it's a very beautiful game in its art direction and in its sound design. And I, I wanted to minimize maybe the distractions or the squirrel thoughts that I would have while playing this game because I also um, I chose this game for two reasons. One is that it features a female protagonist in the role of a hard-boiled private investigator which is not a role that we see um, women portrayed in very often in media whether it's in games or, or in other forms. So I thought that was very cool and also the game is set in Singapore and I had an opportunity a few years ago to be stationed for work in Singapore uh, for about a month. And so while working, I also had the opportunity to take in a lot of the sites that are featured in the game and experience the neighborhoods and the cultures and flavors of Singapore. So I thought that was so cool <laughs> to, to have the opportunity to really nerd out about um, a place that I'm not from and and so it was really cool to see certain things like the the botanical gardens be featured or even something as simple as the the MRT the metro map because you have to do a lot of traveling in this game too so this will be the only commentary I think for for this series we're going to do this case by case there's multiple cases apparently and multiple endings but I think we'll just do do one playthrough so Let's get into it. We'll take a look at Chinatown Detective Agency. Thanks. Man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being, a witness to the brilliance of its master, and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. It's a start. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Hey, 
brought you a little gift. I don't drink, Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. When are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you'll do work you regret for a pittance and you'll get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Lah. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are... Oh, well, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. How are you? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where... There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. No, oh, Miss Dharma. I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, no, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. 
The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone. And of particular interest is a message received from an unknown soul. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are, most of the time. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Wow, look at that! A new phase! You here for the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're, uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for The Histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. Here we go, the histories. Herodotus. Took an impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hmm. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, 
technically yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an E application to the security department and... No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on. What's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now, but librarians... Ooh. I'm sorry. You're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I... Uh, tell you what, 300? And you got yourself a deep. Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade. And times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? Oh, um, 300 it is, I guess. Okay, it says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're real. Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bedok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. <laughs> Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. Ah, just in time! It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. The highlighted letters and the page numbers are linked, and they probably correspond to an encoded message. Kinda like this? Hmm, yes. The message is purely numerical. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out.
Lutz Town, Wednesday, 6.40. A meeting place and a time. Lutz Town. Never heard of it. Wherever it is, it's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. Bloodstown. Says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, mating. I'll be in touch. Are you there? Yeah, just outside the apartment. Listen, cornered snakes tend to strike in furious desperation. Be careful, just in case. Thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. Mr. Ng, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. What are you doing, Philip? It's done! I'm done! I'm not going back! Yes, you are. So is Genevieve. Alive. Put the gun down. I'm done. I've done what I was told, and I'm gonna live with it. Even if it means we have to die.
The woman of the hour is back in the house. Hello, Rupert. How's our man doing? He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID HQ, but not before I could have a word with him. He had quite a story. Oh? Care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. He had accomplices? Accomplice suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. I've got a feeling that you aren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma.